touchdown in Hawaii since 1950. Around the country, celebrations are honoring the 200th birthday of Abraham Lincoln. His humble beginning is a source of great pride in his birthplace of Kentucky. This story from Ken Tillis, one of CNN's all-platform journalists. I think that is pretty cool that one of our presidents was born and raised here. Hodgenville and LaRue County are very proud to be the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. That's probably one of the neatest things about it, that I was born on the same land as he was. He was born in a log cabin for about a mile from here. Uh, the cabin behind me uh, speaks to his humble beginnings. Uh, it's not the log cabin he was born in, but it's a, uh, a good symbol. I think it's pretty cool because you get to see how Lincoln lived and how hard it was for him. We're very proud of Lincoln's heritage in our area. You can see it throughout our community. Uh, you can feel it throughout our community as well. And we're extremely proud that uh, we call uh, Lincoln our own. And we feel that uh, uh, much of uh, the great man that Lincoln was is a result of his early years here. Even though not everyone loved Lincoln, I think most everyone um, can relate to the humble beginnings that he had. He freed the African Americans from slavery, and now we have an African American president. President Obama has uh, some unique ties to Abraham Lincoln being a citizen of the state of Illinois. That creates a unique tie. And who would have thought that uh, 200 years after the birth of Abraham Lincoln, we would have an African American as our president? I think that, uh, that says a great deal about Abraham Lincoln's time and what Abraham Lincoln was able to do. The story of Abraham Lincoln is, uh, is a great story. It's a, it's a story of a young lad who initially didn't have much chance in life, uh, but it's a story that uh, adults now can look on and uh, have hope for their children. And that I might be able to um, grow up and achieve big things like he did. 14 miles